Hello my fertility friends, I'm Anne and in this video I tell you all about getting pregnant with ovulation tests. So ovulation test, also called LH test because of the hormone LH. The idea of an ovulation test is simple. You can see in this picture there's a LH peak shortly before your ovulation. And with an LH test, you can clearly see if you have such an LH peak or not. Maybe you are before this LH peak or you are during this LH peak or you are after this LH peak, okay? And in this picture, you can see how it looks like a ovulation test. And it could be that you have a positive test, yeah, the first one. Then you can see the control line is there and also another second line, the test line. This test line could be stronger than the test line or it could be that they are in the same quality. If your test is negative, then you have also a control line and a test line is maybe a little bit light or there's nothing or you can see no test line. If you have an invalid test result then you have no control line and maybe you can see one line in the test line but no control line or you see nothing. And in this case you can do another test and try again. <laughs> If you want to make such a urine test, then you go to the toilet and make your urine in maybe, for example, in glass. And then you put the LH test into your urine. You hold it in your urine for some seconds. And then you put it out and lay it on the glass. So, but which one is the best, the 10th or the 20th ovulation test strips? The answer of this question is not so easy, because you can see it in this picture, there are two different types of women, and that's why it is not so easy. Because if you are a woman A, you can see in this picture a curve, yeah? And this curve shows in the middle uh, the LH peak. And this you want to know when it is with the LH test. If this woman use a tense LH test strip, then she only get results that are positive. You can see it in this picture, eh? only plus, 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 positive. But with the 20s ovulation test strip, she can determine her LH peak because all days with a lower level she get negative result and on the day with the LH peak she get a positive result. And also you can see the case if you are a woman B shows the other side because she has a level of LH which is very low if woman B use a 20s ovulation test strip, she gets only negative test results. You can see it, okay? But if she use a 10th test, she gets what she wants. She finds out when is her LH peak. But a big problem is not all women can be categorized in these two types of women. Not all women are tens or twenties. So and because of this problem, the ovulation test not works for every woman. The women are very different and very individual at all. And today there's no ovulation test who can test the relative hormone levels of LH. 
And that's not so good because all women who use uh, ovulation tests cannot clearly find out when is their ovulation. Because sometimes there's on different days in the cycle a positive test result or for example in, as a negative test result or a positive test result on every day. That is not so helpful, I think, and you need another thing to find out when is your ovulation. And another thing I have to say in this video, the LH level have ups and downs during a day and also sometimes during one hour. So you can see it is not so easy to find out your ovulation with an LH test. So my conclusion about the LH test is it is really an interesting additional information about my cycle or your cycle. But I think the symptom termine method is the best to find out when is your ovulation. And then you can also, of course, using ovulation tests to become more clear about your ovulation and your cycle. Not only this, you can also find out if you have an ovulation or not, or you can see other things about your cycle. You can see if you are pregnant or not. You can see when is your best fertile time in your cycle. And you can see your highly fertile days many days before your ovulation is. This is also a problem with the ovulation test because if you have an LH peak and see this with a positive LH test, then you have only 24 hours and then is your ovulation. And then you have not so much time to have sex yeah, if you want to get pregnant. So I recommend try the symptothermal method with the basal body temperature in combination with the cervical mucus or the cervix. It is a method which is really proven and the best thing about it, you can learn it maybe with a book I have written, you can see it in the info box and you can also look my videos and try it for your own but I think the best is you learn it with a book yeah. then you have an optimized start with this method when you want to get pregnant. I wish you the best and say bye bye. This was your end and that's the end.